Cisneros, welcome back to Scene TV, cooking episode number two for Sugar Junkies. Today, we're gonna make strawberry shortcakes with a little kick. So, follow me back to my fake kitchen. First thing we got here is some shortcake. Now, some of the shortcake is a little messed up. It's Albertson's fault, not mine. That one's a pretty one there, right there. Anyway, uh, to add a little bit of a kick, today we've got some spiced rum. I'm only going to add a little bit, but generally, I would probably like to go with a lot. So, grab me one of these. I have already gone ahead and taken the liberty of cooking the chocolate, or melting the chocolate down. Now to do this, you can use any chocolate you find around your house, from a Hershey's bar to a giant chocolate bunny rabbit you have left over from Easter. That's exactly what I was looking for. However, I uh, couldn't find it. Um, today we just used um, some random chocolates from a bag. They actually had a melted cherry chocolate on the inside, so this is going to give this an extra cherry flavor, which is going to be really yummy, I think. So that's already, already melted down. Let's go ahead and put in a shot of Captain Morgan. Run to the road. Cooking drunk always makes the food better. Here we go. Splash of that. Not even going to use the whole shot. Mix this up. Now, the thing about cooking with rum too, you generally would put this into the chocolate. However, I wanted to do it on camera. We pre-melted the chocolate. Cooking it is going to actually cook the alcohol content out. So, if you don't want the alcohol content to be gone, and, you know, because um, that just leaves the flavor, if you actually want to have a little bit of kick in there, you should put it on or even after it, just mix it in through. Another thing you could use to spice this up, um, give it a little bit of a Louisiana style, is if you can get some powdered sugar and sprinkle that on top afterward, it will be really similar to your chocolate beignets that they have. Alright, so, now that we have our chocolate and our rum, we're going to have our strawberries. Mmm! So luckily, I always keep a knife uh, right up my ass, just for these kind of situations. Give you second thoughts about the uh, chocolate that's going to be on this, huh? So, I'm experimenting with a few different very, nah, 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 very cut. So I'm experience. <laughs> so I've been experimenting with a couple different variations. As you can see, <laughs> would you want this in your face? So, I've been experimenting with a couple of- Do I have some chocolate on my face? <laughs> Alright, so I've been exper- God, I'm <laughs> So I've been ex- I've been experimenting with a couple of variations! And, as you can see here, um, <laughs> stop laughing at me. Um, I put the chocolate on first, then the whipped cream on the sides, and I've finally mastered the drizzle. So, let me actually show you how to do a proper drizzle. Even though it's, you know, it's not, like, not like rocket science. Just hold it on the knife like that. 
And it's just like art, you know? You just you just let things happen. You know, I think uh, I think I'm just getting better at this as time goes on because I keep drinking more rum. Which is probably the case. Now that's proper drizzle. See? It looks so much better that way. Alright, so I'll show you what I did with that last one. If I can pull it off just the same way again. Right? Like, that wasn't rocket science, was it? Put the damn chocolate in the dish. Uh, it's a little messy there, but... Uh, I'm not on Iron Chef, so fuck it. Alright, so. <laughs> God damn it, that was my perfect one, too! Here, here, we're gonna fix this shit. There we go. Barely know it's drizzle. Top it with one more strawberry, and we're golden! Ah, drizzle. <laughs> Alright, that's kind of like a drizzle. Alright, it's time to put this to the test. Ah, one more for the road. Tester and try one bite? That's right. Let's see. Montana football program is known for its tradition and legacy. A scale of 1 to 10, how good? But we'll switch to 37. Now the number can only be worn by a native of Montana. Tim Hawk, Craig Paulson, and Jason Creed. The, all the people who have worn the number kind of elect that player. That, that and just to have those guys on the field, you can get that role. Yeah. And what they have they done. A little feels pretty special. Now, All right. Well, thank you for being my taste tester. All right. Ah. Well, there you go. They gave it a 10. What do you think of it? He gives it a 10, too! So, now it's time to try it myself. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm really messy. All right. Well. Thank you for joining. I'll see you guys next time.